There we go. Hey everybody, welcome back to my butler forbidden romance. Don't know what's forbidden about it, but we're about to find out. Continue. Uh, yeah, yeah, 55. What were we doing? Uh, come on, you're gonna catch a cold. Get into bed and pull the co and pull the covers over your shoulders. Okay. Just microphone at the last minute. He pushed me into bed. Roughly. It was like Kira had forgotten about what happened as he tended to my every need. But I keep tracing his lips with my eyes. His thin, charming lips were well featured. Just a little while ago, these lips kissed me. Wow. Kira's lips were nice and cold when I first felt them. Sex told about before. Yeah. Was Kira reminiscing about the kiss we just had too? Uh it's nothing. It looks like I'm still confused after all. Well great. I'm glad you fixed that. Okay. I'm confused too, Kira. I want to know why you kissed me like that, but probably to shut you up, my god. I can't ask you. Sure you can. Just ask, I'll wait. Okay, guess not. Well then. And then, Kira stretched out his arms to me like he'd always done. However, right before his hand could touch my hair, <coughs> he hesitated and stopped. Good night, Sexto. Oh, No, baby, touch my hair! Touch my hair! He always put in my head before he left. Good night, Kira. What was the real meaning behind that kiss just now? Again, probably just to shut you up. The next day. Uh, it's already morning. In the end, I didn't get any sleep. I tried to get some rest, but kept remembering the kiss we'd had. My god, woman. Miss Sextomic Mumble. Uh, but morning, Kira! Good morning, do you have a- did you have a good night's rest? <coughs> yeah. Yeah! <laughs> I can't tell him that I couldn't sleep because I was too busy thinking about a kiss! Again, you can do it, I'll wait. There's a hole in my wall- okay, nope. <laughs> I see. I couldn't get much sleep, I guess. I didn't ask. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't ask. Huh? I feel like a middle school student. Well, you look like what? Well, not look- What? Yes, you do look like one with the glasses. I'm sorry. I got confused for, uh, just from the kiss, and I couldn't get a wink of sleep. High five, welcome to my world. I didn't think I was uh, some kind of pure-hearted person. You're not. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Kira. Kira smiled bitterly and my heart was racing. I could feel my temperature shooting upward. I can't help but to think about last night's kiss after hearing him say that. Um... YES! <laughs> she just darts out of bed. YES, Kira, what is it? Just so you know, I've prepared your outfit for today. Oh, great. I, uh, twisted my ankle just for that one. Okay. I got out of bed and stood in front of Kira. Like always, Kira helped me change, cause why the fuck not? However, huh, Kira's fingers are shaking. Good God, man, calm down, I said woman. Kira's hands were shaking as he unbuttoned my pajamas, but he was somehow still able to finish unbuttoning it. Once or, like, it took a couple times, but, you know, he finally, he finally managed. Uh, how does this pajama work? Kira! He was about to take off my pajamas, but stopped. Uh, are you okay? Your ears are all red. I'm sorry. Could you change yourself today, Miss Sexto? Well, you expect me, a woman of upstanding citizen, weird, high class shit, expect me, Miss Sexto McBumble, to dress myself? I don't th think so. Uh, sure. I, I literally forgot how to, though. Could Kira be embarrassed? Wow. Um,. Well then, um, can you, like, turn? Can I get a CG of the back of his head, please? Y yes, you're right. Kira was a little pink as he turned around. What is this? Why am I so excited? What? <laughs> excited in what way exactly are you talking about? Is this all because of the kiss we had last night? Am I really that pure-hearted? None of you are! You're all sinful s t t Fuck it. What should I do? Why do I feel this way just from standing beside him? Is my body getting hotter? Uh, that's it? That's chapter four? Oh, okay. Okie dokie. Right. Sure. What's next one? Wait. Didn't we just literally start that chapter? Oh, okay. 
wavering feelings. How many fucking chapters do we have? Hold on. It's not what I meant to do. No. Come back. Come back. Okay. I want to check how many chapters there are. How many chapters? Sequel dates and fuck me. Fuck me! Oh! How do. Oh, so I only have like two chapters left and then an end. Oh, cool! And then we have the extra stuff. Alright. The gallery. Oh, that's. that's swell. Alright, let's go. Let's go back. Uh, let's go back. Yeah, continue. Hey, everybody, welcome back to my butler. <laughs> One month had passed, wow, since I'd started living in this mansion. Today, October 31st! Kirishima and the others had told me to come to the greenhouse for a Halloween party. Oh. Oh, it's so spoopy! Oh, it's so spoopy. Boop. Look at that spoops. Look at this spoops everywhere. Alright, come back, come back. Oh my gosh, I love this up here. Alright, come back, there you go. Whoa! As I stepped into the greenhouse, I saw tons of black and orange decorations everywhere. There are pumpkins and ribbons over there, too. Oh, there's a jack-o'-lantern wearing a witch hat. It's adorable. It's all so cute. How do you like it, Miss Axel Bumble? It's great! Oh, Kirishima, a name I can pronounce. I love it. The decorations look like something right out of an amusement park. Really? Okay. It's really cute. Isn't it... Isn't that- isn't that great, Kirishima? Oh my god, what happened there? Whoa, brain fart. He done all the preparation- <clears throat> <laughs> He done all the preparations himself. Please continue praising him, Miss Extomic Mumble. Will do! I should praise you! Kirishima! Uh, don't say that. Oh, that's unusual. Are you blushing? Oh, you cutie patootie! Oh. Why can't I date one of these guys? These guys seem well-mannered and nice! And don't want to make me cry every two seconds. <laughs> That's not what I'm talking about. Unikir and Kamazaki had helped out as well. If you really like decorations, please make sure to thank them too. Eh. Eh. Okay, I will. Not. It's just. It's. It's. Blah, blah, blah. It's not just decorated nice. With decor. What? It's not just decorated nicely treats and fruit punch too. What the fuck? <laughs> what? What is that sentence? <laughs> They're up there. They, they prepared all this for me. I'm really impressed. Cree? I wish I had something that could make a creaky noise. Except for my damn mouth. Gasp. <laughs> oh, Kira, look at, look at all of this. Look at it all. <laughs> for a second, Kira looked at me very surprised. Look at it all. We got all the orange. I love orange. That's, that's great, Miss Sextonic Bumble. It's just fantastic. He's... Excuse me. He started to force a smile onto his face. Oh. But, 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 look at it, it's pretty. It's been weeks since then. When will this awkward phase disappear? Kira. Kind of confused. Could you give me some time? No. No. Ever since then, Kira has been close to me, yet feels very far away. You need to have one of them animu talks. What do I keep saying anime? The, the deep anime talks that they have in animes. The deep talks that breaks away all the weirdness. I don't know how to face him. Great. Wait, what's with these creaky doors? Somebody fix this. Sorry I'm late. Hi guys. Hi. How you doing? <laughs> yeah. Sorry. What he said. Oh, Yoni Kuri and Kamazaki. Thank goodness they came at such a good time. I felt a little relieved after seeing the two of them once uh, where did once come from? <laughs> Seeing the two of them come late and smiled at me. Thanks for doing all the prep work for this cute party. I swear she calls it cute one more time. It's supposed to be spooky, damn it. Think nothing of it. Ah, Kamazaki's so shy and blunt as usual. Oh, you're. <laughs> Ignore, I just got the two of them. That I got the two of them confused. It's alright. It's okay. All our hard work has paid off if you're enjoying yourself, right, Kamazaki? Uh, uh tell drivers to pick a game, damn it! I don't think you do- I think you- I don't think you did any work at all, did you? Wow. Actually, not surprised. That's not true. That's just your own misunderstanding. 
Give him a little pat on that. He looked very disappointed there. Shit. <laughs> Yonikura chuckled to evade responsibility and looked at me. And there you have it. Please relax and enjoy yourself today, Miss Sexto Mikabumbo. Uh, okay. Oh no, when I look at you and occur, I can't help but remember that night. Oh, for fuck's sake, get over it. It's so nerve-wracking, I can't help but keep my guard up around him. Er. Get my eye on you. Does she not have any girlfriends that can come to this party, by the way? It's all just guys. Just, oh, it's like a sausage party everywhere. Come this way, Miss Sex McBumble. This is your party, after all. Are other people supposed to be here? It's just us. This sucks. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Kirishima. Kirishima's words signaled the start of the Halloween party. Aw, oh, I was hoping to get some <laughs> Halloween music, but I guess that works too. Uh, <laughs> you just throw some pumpkins, sparkly pumpkins in my face. When I look at the pumpkins like this, I can tell who carved them. This vague and roughly carved one must be Yonikura's. This carefully cut out one with fine features must be Kamazaki's. As I thought to myself, I looked around the greenhouse. A sex to make bumble. Huh? Hi. Whoa, whoa. It's you, Kyonikura. Jesus. Please don't be so frightened. All I did was come close to you. That's enough to scare me off. <laughs> it's alright. It's not like I'm gonna steal you away and feast on you. Whatever the fuck that means. Yeah. That's true. Yonikura hasn't tried to approach me since that night. I have to act like it doesn't bother me either. What's up? What's up, Yonikura? What's up? Bro. Punch on the shoulder. I'm gonna f just fart. I don't know. <laughs> He's my bro now. As I thought that... Uh... I don't have a straw. What are, what are we slurping? <laughs> Why? <laughs> I, but what? <laughs> Excuse me a second. I have to process what I just read. All right. <clears throat> but. I, I, Yonikura suddenly came close to my face and licked my cheek. I don't, <laughs> I, he cannot have anything to say to me that justifies what he just did to my face. Why? <laughs> what? <laughs> did they not supply napkins, Yonikura? Did they not supply napkins? Excuse my behavior. There was some cream on your cheek. What? <sighs> my dog's staring at me like, the fuck's your problems? Like, he thinks he's a dog. He thinks he's a dog, Lil. I love you. Uh, cream on your cheek. That's why you licked me all of a sudden? Is that normal for you? Honey, Kura, that was absolutely disgusting. <laughs> I can't. Oh, I feel like in his route there's gonna be a lot of licking. Oh, Kira. Did you see that just now? Could he? Do you have business with Miss Sexto McBumble, Yonikura? Kira's mouth is smiling, but his eyes are nowhere near happy. No, not really. Just wanted to lick her. <laughs> she tastes good. I hate. I hate. Oh, God. Oh, God. I can't. Oh. Yonikura shrugged his shoulders in a joking manner. You licked me! Okay, fuck it. I don't care anymore. See, just like I said. He guards you like a watchdog. Well... I mean, <sighs> I don't. He whispered those words into my ear so I could only hear them. So only I could hear them. <sighs> like I said before, don't get angry just from stuff like this, Kira. You. Ew! <sighs> More importantly, Kira, haven't you been acting a little weird recently? You were. You just. You, but you lit. What? <sighs> As a. Uh, as a personal germaphobe, I think that's highly unsanitary. <laughs> Ew! <gasps> what? No. Not really. Could it be... Are you jealous of me and Miss Sexto? Please! Your tongue, that's as far as our relationship goes. Your tongue in my cheek, that's as far as it has ever gone and ever will go. What? How dare you? Oh, that's surprising. I guess you do have those types of feelings, just like any other regular person. Yonikura, how dare you! I don't know what's going on. Kira had a stern look on his face, and then... <clears throat> Kira, can I, bar can, can I borrow you for a moment? You two are pathetic. 
Kamazaki. He's just watching like, these two are fucking pathetic. Oh my god. What? Kamazaki showed up, like, looking worried. I saw that lick, that was absolutely disgusting. What is it, Kamazaki? Wait, are you... Are you drunk? Yes! Woo! Oh, this party just gets better and better. <laughs> huh? Yes! Yes! I love when the serious ones get drunk. Please be- He's right, Kamazaki's eyes are all bloodshot. Dude, the party just started. Wait for me. Not to mention these staggering sweets! Oh, if those two kiss, I'm gonna be so happy. Not Sexto and Kamazaki, but like Kier and Kamazaki. Like, kiss him, not me. How about that? Ugh. He drank all the alcohol Kirishima brought out of the storehouse by himself. <laughs> Why? Oh my god. <laughs> what are you serious? He turned around. There were empty wine bottles rolling on the table. He drank all that by himself. I can't breathe. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> what do you think about sex? Sex, 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 Whoa. I think I might be a little drunk myself. Drunk on these boys. What I think. Eh, that's none of your business, you drunk son of a bitch. From my point of view, sex still likes you, Kira. <laughs> uh. <laughs> And it looks like you're interested in her, too. <laughs> I, I have a constant smile on my face. I don't know what I'm gonna do about it. <clears throat> Kira's interested in me, duh. I don't know how Yuri could have meddled with you two, but... <laughs> <laughs> hey, hold on a second. Don't cheat me like I'm some kind of pest. Well... Shut up, Yodikura! Please don't butt in our conversation, you son of a bitch! Damn. What? Kawasaki really speaks his mind when he's drunk. Kira! I have something to tell you. I'm begging you, please don't make Miss Sexto sad. <laughs> Why would you drink all of it? If you really love her... <laughs> we are getting a speech from a drunk man. <clears throat> You need to be honest about your feelings. That's what I think, at least. And then he passes out. Th oh my god, it wasn't serious. Thud. After finishing his statement, Kamazaki fell over like a dead battery. I love this game. I love it. I love this game. Oh, this is the best game I've ever played. <clears throat> Bye, Kamazaki. <laughs> Come on, get a hold of yourself, you drunk bastard. Jesus, Kamazaki, are you okay? Never bring him to a party. You can't bring this bitch to a party. You can't do it. Mm. Sorry, I need a drink. <clears throat> Wait, what in the world is going on here? Kamazaki drank all the wine by himself and collapsed. What? I can't believe it. This is why I was against having alcohol in daytime. In the daytime. Honestly, I don't think it would matter. <laughs> If Madame Maika was here, we'd have to write her a formal apology, Kirishima. Eh, my bad. <laughs> Judging my your expression, I can tell you aren't completely sorry. Nah, <laughs> it was funny. I'm sorry, please be lenient. Lenient. Forgive me, Kagurazaka. Oh. Kamazaki was drinking out of heartbreak, in other words, he was drowning in sorrows. Well, it's always the silent ones, am I right? Oopsies, huh? Whoops. <laughs> Skipped that line. Kagurazaki was blinking in surprise as he looked at us. Oh, I see. So that's what's going on. I understand, I think. In that case, I'll overlook this just this once. Kagurazaki sighed and looked troubled as he started to smile awkwardly and then turned toward me. I'm sorry for getting mixed up in their quarrel, Miss Sexto. I don't... Uh, I barely know what's going on anymore. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? Oh, hi, Kira. <laughs> God, this is so fucking stupid. Where's Kamazaki? I brought him to his room and laid him on his bed, put a bucket next to a bed. He should be fine. He was so heavy. He really tired me out because his body is so big. I bet. 
Take it easy. Should I massage your shoulders later? I did the weirdest thing with my fingers when I said that. Don't be silly. If I made you do that, Kagurazaka would be furious and come after me. Ah, uh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> oh, Kira's laughing. It's been a while since we've had a laid-back conversation like this. Thanks to Kamazaki, all the awkwardness has appeared before I could realize it. You know, I really do like talking to Kira like this. Miss Extomic Bumble is something wrong. Kira's eyes were incredibly gentle as he stared at me. Yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. Don't worry about it. What if Kamazaki- what if- <laughs> What if what Kamazaki said was true? Kira also likes me. <clears throat> this is so fucked up. Uh, after that, we moved to the banquet hall to start the next set of festivities. There were pumpkins, dishes laid out, and Kagurazaka had prepared for us. Kamazaki sobered up and returned. Wow, it was fast! He started drinking again with Yonikara and the others. Great, well, that should help. He's gonna freaking kill himself, damn! It started to get late into the night. The lively Halloween party was finally coming to a close. I'm sure we went a little overboard because you were the only guest, but... Did you have fun, Miss Sexton McBumble? Hmm. I don't know... Hmm. 55... 58! Had a lot of fun. I wish we could... What? I wish we could do Halloween next year together with everyone again. Miss Sexton McBumble. Kirishima looked a little shocked as he opened his eyes after hearing my words. It's not possible. I know that, but today was so much fun. You're right. Huh? Then I'll invite you next year on the exact same day. I will do my best to have a Halloween party next year as well. I'll send you an invitation when the time comes. Please come celebrate it with us again. <clears throat> Hiroshima, he's so sweet. I'm gonna pat you on the head. I look forward to it. Indeed, I'll be looking forward to it next year as well. Thank you very much for today. Kirishima bowed deeply. How do you bow deeply? As you said those words, Kirishima is really sweet. Even if it doesn't happen, I'm happy just hearing him say those words to me. Phew! I finally returned to my room. I threw myself atop of my fluffy bed. You're right, you look a little tipsy. Hey! <laughs> yeah, I might have gone a little overboard and drank too much. Sex! <laughs> it's that so, in that case. Shall I bring some cold water to sober you up? Oh, I'm fine. Yeah, you're not at least a bit drunk, are you, Kira? That level of alcohol doesn't affect me. Kira smiled, completely composed. Really? It looked like Kirishima had the others, and the others made him drink a lot. Kirishima? Kirishima? Oh. <laughs> As I thought that, Miss Sexto McBumble. <laughs> Kira suddenly looked at me in all seriousness. What is it? Will you allow me to speak for you just a little bit? I. I probably won't remember it in the morning, but, you know, go for it. Huh? I apologize for my attitude these past few days. You should be apologizing. Um, that's that's not something he needs to apologize for. I finally realized something after hearing Kamazaki's words. Miss Sexto, I think I am in love with you. My heart skipped a beat as I stared into his earnest eyes. I, I went to say earnest, earnest. Kira, what are you trying to say? <clears throat> Miss Sextomic Bumble? I... Wait a second, Kira! Why? <laughs> Why? It was that close to it! <clears throat> Look, it's already past 12. So you don't have to act like a butler. Shut the fuck up and let him talk! You can talk normally now. He... <clears throat> oh, oh. <laughs> I'm going through so many stages of grief right now. Sexto. Kira opened his eyes wide in astonishment. <laughs> oh, fuck you. I just can't win against you. I really can. If it's with you, I think I... Uh, I really can't have a serious relationship. <laughs> Miss Sexto is Bumble. I what? I what? What were you gonna say? Then again, you might have an already started one. He looked at me, a little embarrassed. He had a gentle smile. My heart was jumping out of my chest. What about you, Sexto? I... I also... I also think we might have already started one. Sexto. Seriously? Yeah! Ha-ha! <laughs> Kira's handsome face started to soften up. 
Ah, falling in love with someone was a lot easier than I thought. Uh, with an excuberant, with an excuberantly gleeful smile, Kira rubbed my head vigorously. Hey, hey, hey! Come over here, Sexto. Huh? We didn't get to talk very much at the party, so let's celebrate Halloween just the two of us. Halloween again? Trick or treat? Which do you want? Which one? Oh fuck! Oh boy! Oh boy! Doesn't matter what I pick. Oh boy! Hmm. Trick. Cool. Trick, I guess. Oh, you want me to tease you? That badly? Fuck! Ah. Kira's smile started to slip out as he stretched his hands out to my cheek. No, it's just because you weren't holding any treats in your hand. No excuses. <coughs> I'll do as you wish. That's not what I meant. Can I tease you in a more mature fashion? Lily, help! <laughs> Somebody help me. There's nobody here to help me. <laughs> huh? He put both his hands on my cheeks. Just like that, he shut his lips with a kiss. <laughs> his tongue quickly trespassed in my mouth. Trespassed. You weren't invited, son. In my mouth and tangled with mine. I needed some water because somebody's thirsty! Alright. <laughs> he started to suck. I'm glad. I'm glad nobody can hear me. <sighs> Kira's lips really are sweet. They're like an addicting treat. Mm. <laughs> <clears throat> the sweet tip of his tongue violated my mouth without rest. I feel dirty. Hmm. Before I knew it, I was in a trance and started to respond to his kisses. This is bad. It feels so good. My head is going blank. I need more water. Shoot, I'm gonna have to really piss after this episode. <laughs> you really are cute. Irresistibly cute. How can you say that when your mouth is entangled with mine? Huh? Huh? Oops, shit. <laughs> the fuck? <clears throat> I tried to escape, but he caught me. He kissed me even more passionately than before. I, I, can't, I can't breathe! It hurts, Kira. Stop it. You're only a young lady. You dare go against a butler like me? I'll oh, show you what's up. It's my job to punish you when you act up like that. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, you're into that weird kinky shit. Ugh. He said that, when, as he said that, Kira put his lips closer to my ear. I swear to god, if your tongue is in Sexo's ear, I swear, I am, I am leaving. I'm just gonna leave. He lightly bit my earlobe. Okay, I thought I was gonna have to just walk out. And I couldn't help but to let out a squeal. <clears throat> Meanwhile, every other butler's in the door like, Holy fuck, do you guys hear what's going on in there? It felt so good, you had to let out a screech. Jesus Christ. You jerk. Yeah, just like that. When you glare at me, all red and teary-eyed. It's cute when you make a face like that. I just want to make you cry. How should I put it? It's a little sexy. How the f... Frigget. I don't care. You've never shown anyone else that face before, right? Yeah, I've only done it in front of you, ass. I've never met someone who's a bully and sweet at the same time before. This is weird. Just for the record, I don't say these things just to anyone. And I don't bite anyone's ear just cause. You're the only person I've wanted to tease this badly. Is that supposed to make me happy? Of course, you should be honored. Well. Okay. Teasing you, making you cry, troubling you. I want to make it so you can only think of me. What the fuck? Oh, uh, your priorities, son. I want to kiss you forever. I want to corner you. Oh, is it like that picture? I don't even feel like explaining it. And? And? You want me to say the rest? You might as well, I mean, we've gone this far. Yeah, I'm scared, but I want to hear it. <clears throat> I see. Alright. Um... Uh, I want to make you cry so badly that you'll have to faint in my arms. Sorry, I just looked away and just, and just, just the feeling of fuck me. Why am I still playing this? Just looked away in that in despair. I looked over to my dog. He's looking out the window and he just licked my chair. He just licked it. He licked it like when Yoni Kura licked Sexo's cheek. Stop licking my chair. 
You freaking weirdo? Gosh. You and Unikura would have a ball, damn. Huh? You're the first one to make me feel something like that. Said, so, like, homicidal? <laughs> is, is, is that what I'm thinking here? You're, you're the first one to make me feel homicidal, Sexton McBumble. And this is the first time I've ever been jealous because of a girl. That time all I could think about was how an annoyed I was. I was surprised a bit at how I could get jealous so easily. Does he mean the thing that happened between Yonikura and I? Um, Kira, there's nothing really between Yonikura and I. He's got a dog. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know. I was just jealous and about to vent on my anger on Yonikura despite knowing that. But surprising. It's su surprising. It's surprising, but I'm a petty man. I'm a petty, petty man. That's not true. If only that wasn't a lie. I'm so happy that you thought so dearly of me. Excuse me! <laughs> You make me feel homicidal, Sexto. Oh, he thinks so dearly of me. Um, Kira. What? The thing you said before about my reward. I figured out what I want, but can I tell you? Right now? Sure, what is it? Could you sleep with me like before? Aww, have fun playing Star Mound. Not just for tonight, but every night from now on. I need a drink. Oh my god. Sexto. That isn't a reward for you. It feels like my reward. It doesn't matter. I don't want to be separated from you anymore, damn it. Sexto. What's up with you? Is this your counterattack against me? Huh? You going to tug at my heart tug on my heartstrings and give me a heart attack. Yep, that That's the uh, That's my game. Is that what you want? Hell yeah. But is that real okay with you? If it wasn't, I wouldn't have said fuck it. I've said it before, haven't I? I won't be able to simply sleep next to you. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Bring on the sex! Oh, you really are too cute! What's with you? Kira started coming closer to me, and I started backing away. Before I realized it, I was nestled inside Kira's chest. Both of his hands were hugging me tightly. Alright, I'll be by your side tonight, tomorrow night, and the night after that. Forgive. Forevermore, forgive. I won't let you go even if you're tired of me. <laughs> Shit. I never get tired of you, ever. Sorry, already have. I want to hold you until morning as we sleep. <clears throat> Fuck. Names. That's okay, right? Yeah. Um, it's embarrassing, so would it make you- So, it would make me happy if you didn't keep asking. Yeah, you're right. In any case. In the end, I don't think I could fall asleep. No, I might not let you go to sleep. Huh? You're so red. <laughs> What's with that? You're the one who brought this upon yourself. I know. I know. I'm s I I'm self-sabotaging, but what's it matter, right? Don't say that. Come here, Sexto. I'm <laughs> literally already here. I'll get you undressed. Wink. Fuck yes. Fuck yes. I don't care how long this episode is. Fuck yes. You should end just first. Damn! Ah, oh, Damn! Fine. Fine. Fine! I'm embarrassed. What? What's wrong, Sexto? I'm the one who's always undressing you when you get changed and take it. Wait, what did he say? Wait, what did he say? I can't! <laughs> Fuck! I can't read what he said. Did he say undress me or undress him? I'm confused. Oh. I'm always the one who's undressing you when you get changed and take a bath, right? That that's true, but yeah. So you sh you suddenly got embarrassed because you're interested in me. Is that what this is about? Yeah. <laughs> Just for the record, getting embarrassed like that has the opposite effect on me. I'm the type who wants to embarrass you more and more, more, as, bleh, bleh, embarrass you more the more times you make faces like that. Come on, make your choice, come here. <laughs> your body is so cute, there's no reason to be embarrassed now. Ignore that cut, you don't know what happened there. Shh. Bleh, bleh, bleh. Your words are the thing that embarrasses me the most. 
It's okay, I'll be gentler and sweeter to you than any other person in the world. Okay. So come here. <laughs> okay. In the end, Kira and I got into bed together. That's sweet. Is that the end of the chapter? Nope. <laughs> Whoa, threw that at my face like a snowball shit. Oh, can I, um, give me that. Look at them lips, though. Holy crap. Are we never gonna see her eyes? Probably not. Probably not. Just the whole shit. All right, come back, please. Come back to me. Hmm, sexto. <laughs> Your face is so cute. I was in my camisole. Kira had kissed me again and again. This bed is nice, isn't it? It's big enough for two people to sleep on. Yeah. Oh, but it's hard to rule out a twin bed. We could have slept snug while holding each other. Okay. Yeah. Sex doll, all you've been saying is yeah. <laughs> well, well, what? Kira chuckled and hung over, me, hu uh, hung over me as he stared into my eyes. Are you embarrassed or excited? I'm thirsty. <laughs> oh, yeah. Or do you want me to touch you and tease you? Uh, the third one! What? <laughs> What's that sound? What? I'll have no idea what you want unless you say it properly. Jeez, he's such a bully. Hey. Hey, at least turn off the lights. But, ow! <laughs> but then we'll be able to see what I'm doing. Fuck. <laughs> hmm. Is it because you're embarrassed? What should I do? Sure, why not? <laughs> Kira smirked and turned off the lights. And off we go. <laughs> Yay. Now the moonlight was the only thing illuminating the room. When I kiss you and touch you like this, it feels like sex. As he spoke, Kira's long slender fingers caressed my breast directly. Woohoo! It tickles. <laughs> Which do you like better? I'll do the one you like better. Ah, you know what? No. Nope. I'm gonna end it here. I'm saving this for another episode. I will see you guys in the next one. Uh, bye bye.